Okay, so today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to play a game and sort of go through it. And basically because I think the game is actually quite addictive once you get the movements. Uh, to be honest, the first uh, two times I played it, I found it very convoluted and I was really ready to uh, give up on it. But then I focused on the instructions and on the movements and said, oh, okay, so I can, I can build things with this. So basically you have two elements in this game, points and lines. And you have five actions that you can uh, take with them to basically build other elements, other points, and other lines. And so it's a geometric algebra game, and you know the, the actions that one can do are very restricted, very limited. But uh, I actually find it quite addictive. Uh, when I once I finished, I was like, ah, I wish I I, I would have more levels to to go through. And so that's uh, the idea of doing this video. It's just that maybe other people can enjoy it as well. And so I'm just uh, you know, just selling it in a way uh, for for other. People people maybe have fun as well uh, beyond the initial convoluted um, thing so um, yeah so let's start so I have points and lines and we're gonna look into the first two actions of you know that what's what's it's our uh, possible actions and so, points apart to join them in the line so it, this is comes about uh, picking something and dragging a handle out of things so we can I can pick this point and drag a handle out of it I'm not not actually going to connect like this or anything it's it's almost like a gesture so it I, I do this gesture away from the point in this direction and do this gesture away from the other point Join. and understands that I Drag want lines to define a line. Them in the point. Now I can also do, I have this same sort of thing uh, in the lines. So when I do this, I'm not actually, let's say, uh, making a new line here between these two lines. Uh, I'm just dragging. It's, this is like a, just, just a handle. And so depending on the direction that I give on the handles, it's going to mean different commands. So at this, at this point, it's telling me to drag the lines together to meet them at the point. So together, you could you know, drag them together like this. Wedge. Or actually, you know, could have it even drag them to the point and it would do the intersection point. Now I'm going to look into other two actions, which is to create a uh, point between two other points and to create a line between two other lines where they have you know the same angle between the two lines drag points together to add them so i could i could add the points together to this midpoint but just dragging the two handles here or i could actually drag them anywhere as long as the, the handles meet add the midpoint will be created. Drag lines apart to add them. Now this action to me is the one that it's a bit uh, useless. Maybe you know, maybe someone can explain it to me. Uh, maybe it's the way I solve the puzzles uh, that actually doesn't require it. But basically, it's going to do uh, a line between the two lines that you have uh, at the same angle. So the thing, the only thing that bothers me is that I cannot control if it's going to make this line or this line. So it's it's really you know I don't know beforehand. But so the way to do it, the gesture to do it is instead of doing like this, putting them together Wedge. to create the point in the middle, you drag them apart. Add. And so it creates that line. So the last action that we have available, and it's very useful, is to pass a perpendicular to a current line that we have through a point. So by marking this point and dragging this line to that point, it will create this red line that it, that passes through the point. It is perpendicular to the line. Select a point, drag the line to it. So there's two ways to go about this. I can, for example, I can select the point and drag the line to it, as the instruction says. Dot. And it creates the perpendicular line or I can do it in another way that I'll show right away. And so uh, this, these are the five actions that we can do. Create, uh, create a line between two points, create uh, a line by dragging away from two existing lines, create a new point by dragging two points together, or creating um, a, an intersection point by dragging two lines together. And then lastly, creating a line that is perpendicular to, uh, to another line passing through that point. The only action that I actually miss in here would be to create a parallel line as well. Sometimes I was playing and it's like, I wish I could make a parallel line. Uh, maybe, maybe that's there somehow. And of course, I can't do a, a parallel after I do the paper legal, I guess. But I, I thought it was, you know, it's also maybe a, a nice basic step to have. So from here on out, uh, it's going to be sort of puzzles. Yeah. The first one is going to be very simple. Uh, so if you want to solve them, don't pause the video and solve them for yourself, because otherwise I'm going to spoil them for you. Find the red elements. So I'm going to look at, uh, show the other way to do the uh, the enter the, the dot uh, or the passing the the perpendicular line onto the uh, existing 
a, a line that is perpendicular to a line that, that we already have through a point. So the first uh, time around, I mark the point and then I drag the, the line marker into it. Dot. And so <laughs> it actually did it. Uh, but so what I actually like to do is to drag the line first and then after that is there, mark Dot. mark no, the point again. So just it's much easier just to do one Dot. movement. Uh, so and then now I have to find this red line as well. And so to find the red line, I just drag these two lines apart Ab and it's going to do the, the mid find the line center. between. So now it tells me to find the ortho center. The ortho center is uh, the center where the uh, perpendicular lines meet. So if I pass a perpendicular uh, line to this side that passes to this uh, vertex of the triangle, I'm going to get something like this. And so it's perpendicular here. Now if I do the same to this side, passing to this point, I'm going to get something like this. And if I do the same for the remaining side, I'm going to get something like this. And this is the ortho center, right? So this is what I have to find, and basically I can do in the game what I just did here. So let's look into that. So first I want to create Join. the side of the triangle. So I have this triangle here. So this is one side, and so I'm going to pass a perpendicular to the other point uh, from the clip to this line. So I just drag the line to that point Dot. and I get the perpendicular. Now I need to do that to another pair of line and point. So I'm going to find the line first of this side Join. of the triangle and I'm going to connect the side of the triangle to the remaining uh, Dot. point and gives me the intersection of these two lines gives me the point of the ortho center. So I'm just going to drag the lines to the ortho center Wedge. and it's done. Find the circumcenter. Okay, so now it asks me for the circumcenter and so the circumcenter is basically in a way uh, you can uh, solve it by applying the same thing that you did here for the auto center but but for another triangle and that triangle is basically the uh, the midpoints of the side of the the initial triangle so let's say i'm going to find here the midpoint somehow of course this is not going to be accurate but bear with me and so let's say uh, something like this here and something like this here. Okay, so I got the, the midpoints of these sides. I'm just going to connect them. So if I find the ortho center of this uh, at this sub, sub triangle, I'm going to get the circumcenter, basically a, a point at which uh, if I pass, a, you know, if I grab a compass and I pick one, one point and I, and I drew and, and, and I circle around, I get a circle that contains all the three points of the triangle. So let me go on about it. Uh, yeah, this is terrible. This is very, uh, very inaccurate. But so supposedly, you know, if I drew a circle, it should contain all three points, which, which of course doesn't contain. But so let's just do it. Uh, so uh, let me get first get the um, the sub triangles. So I'm just gonna actually no, this. So I'm, I want the midpoint. Yep. I have this triangle here, and I want the the three midpoints. And so I'm gonna do yep. this. Do this. Yep. And so I got the, the, this new triangle going on. So I'm just going to find the ortho center for it. And so pick this side, Dot. connect it with that point. So I have this line passing through it. Now the same again. Join. And drag this line onto this point. Dot. And now I have my circumcenter. I just need to connect these two lines. Wet. And there we go. Find your line. Now find all these lines. The line that basically uh, connects the ortho center and the circumcenter. And actually, uh, it connects another center as well, which I'm not. Uh, the name is is, is not uh, on my memory at the moment. So basically, it connects uh, these these two centers and some other center. Uh, I don't know if it's in the inner center or I don't know. It's it's another center that I can't remember at the moment. And so basically, well, uh, to to find this line, I just need to find these two and then create a line between them. So uh, let's let's do that. So I have this triangle here. I'm going to first do the circumcenter, which is a bit more convoluted, Ed. at least the way I'm doing. It. Maybe Add. there's a simple way. So I'm just going Add. to find the three midpoints and then find the ortho Join. center for that secondary triangle. Dot. So I got this line and it, it, it passes through this point which I want. And so I'm going to do this to another Join. side of the triangle. So I'm going to project this on this line. Dot. And so I got, I got that point there now by connecting these two Wet. lines. We go. Now I need to find this uh, this one, and so let's just simply do the ortho center for the initial triangle. Join. So it's the line. Dot. There's the perpendicular, and it goes through that. And now I just need to do the same thing for another side. So let's 
join this and so I'm gonna drag this line onto this uh, dot other point and now I got these two crossing uh, intersecting at this point that I want so I just basically need to connect them I'll drag here drag here Wedge. and I got the point so now I got the two points that I want the two centers the circum center uh, circum center and ortho center so now I just need to drag away from each point join and I got the oil well spot. done moves 37 times 1137 score negative 67 <laughs> and I got a negative score cool uh, so the thing that I really like about the game is that you definitely uh, the, the first it, it it's like grows on itself so the, the, the steps uh, that you the things that you go through uh, it, it helps you in the next level and so I find it really interesting and actually I wish I could you know have more levels to go through and so I just decided to uh, basically call attention to it you can find it here at this at this link and yeah it's uh, it's great fun just